In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw these watermelon lips. This is quite a popular reference picture. I see a lot of color pencil artists drawing on Instagram, and I will say this is probably the easiest picture I've drawn on my channel so far. For this drawing, you'll need paper, white or toned, it doesn't really matter, I'm using toned paper just because I prefer it, but you can use whatever you want. For your color pencils, you'll need light green, an even lighter shade of green or yellow, dark green, pink, red, grey, brown, black and white. And for your basics, you'll need an HP pencil, eraser and sharpener, and finally a white gel pen for highlights. The first thing to draw is obviously the rough sketch. This part is the most important because it'll determine how accurate your drawing will look in the end. So try to copy it as closely as possible and spend as much time on it as you need. The next part I focused on was the inside part of the mouth. I used a black marker first before going over it with my black color pencil just to speed up the process. Then I colored in the teeth. I started off by lightly going over the shadowed areas with gray and then colored over the whole thing with white. Next, I outlined the top lip with red and faded out into the center. Also went over some of the darker areas in the reference with red as a shadow and then added some lines for texture. Then I took my dark green and kind of scribbled across the center of the bottom lip. I know how it looks now, but just trust the process, it'll be fine in the end. I did the same thing with my light green and blended it out lightly towards the outside. Also lightly outlined the bottom lip and colored over most of the blank areas with that same green pencil. Next, I took my white and colored over all the areas I went over with my light green. Then, I took a much lighter green and blended everything together. If you don't have a lighter green, as I said, yellow would work too. Then, I used my white again to make the highlights stand out more. This process is very repetitive, but I promise you it'll be worth it in the end.
Next, I started working on the top part. I went over some of the areas with brown to emphasize some of the darker parts of the reference. Then, I lightly drew in the seeds with my black color pencil. Make sure to avoid coloring these in until the very end. I then colored over the center with white and blended it all together with pink and red. Finally, I colored in the seeds and added highlights with a white gel pen. And you're done. This drawing took me less than two hours to do, which sounds like a lot. Any realism artist would know that that is not a long time to do a drawing like this. It is truly one of the easiest ones I've ever done. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in seeing more videos where I teach you how to draw famous Instagram references step by step, then click the playlist right up above. And if you want to see other art related videos, stick around because I'm going to expand my content a little bit more in the future. And if you like what you see, subscribe if you want to. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.